Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to download, verify, and install the Bitcoin Core uh, software. So let's dive in. <clears throat> so the Bitcoin Core uh, software wallet is one of the uh, you know the first Bitcoin wallets that was out there, and it's a component of the Armory Bitcoin wallet. Um, it sort of runs in the background. So uh, I was doing a video on Armory and uh, of course it needs Bitcoin Core. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a separate video for Bitcoin Core uh, just to walk you guys through that. And I'll try to make this one short and sweet. I'd like to give a shout out to Bitcoin Charlie who sent me a very nice and polite email. Let's go over here. Uh, asking me to uh, do the Bitcoin Core and the Armory Cold Store. Uh, so we can, uh, I'm going to open Firefox here and go to software. Here's our Bitcoin uh, website. Uh, incompatibility, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, we're going to get started with Bitcoin here. And uh, let me just point out that this is Bitcoin.org, not Bitcoin.com, okay? So Bitcoin.org, uh, we're going to go get started with Bitcoin. Uh, this is a great website if you are just new to Bitcoin. Uh, we're going to choose a wallet, and we're going to choose Bitcoin Core. I can do some of these others. Now, so I got Armory here, which is kind of what we're working on. We go over here to Bitcoin Core. I'm going to do Windows 64-bit. Uh, we click Install. All right. And where is it? Okay, 64-bit. Okay, and we're going to Save File. We've got that option. Uh, let's go back over here to our short links, your quick links here. Software folder. And I'm going to create a new folder. We'll call this one Bitcoin Core. Whoops, Bitcoin Core. Right. We'll open that up and we'll save the installer there. Okay, now we're going to want to uh, verify this. Uh, so the first thing, uh, well, one or two of the other things, we're going to download the latest signing key. You see they've got several signing keys here depending on the version that you're using. We're using the latest version, uh, so we're going to click this one. Uh, with a little plus that means version 11 or higher okay we're gonna save file on this one and it's gonna open up the exact same folder we're gonna click save again now we're gonna download the release signature uh, let's see what are we doing here okay that's it and we're gonna save this one too oh, it looks like they're to do the old Shaw something themselves. Okay. All right. Let's go back over here to software, Bitcoin Core. All right. Uh, okay. Before I do this verification, guys, you need to install the GPG software on your computer. In uh, for Windows, it's going to be GPG for Windows. So I uh, will refer you up here in the corner, whichever corner I'm pointing to, that there's a card that says uh, go to my other video on how to install the GPG software, the GPG for Windows software. Okay, I've gotten a few comments that say, hey, when I go to run these commands, I'm following right along, I get weird error messages most of the time the reason you get these weird error messages is because you don't have this software on your computer all right so we hit shift hold that hold, hold down shift for dear life and right click in the window to get our open PowerShell all right and the nice thing about holding shift click in our window is that it opens the PowerShell in the right directory right uh, those things that we just downloaded now, uh, la 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 la, did they, did they do that? I think they did. Yeah. They, uh, it downloaded the raw signing key to our computer, I believe. Yes, it did. 
Okay, so when we run GPA, which uh, if you don't have it on your computer, check one of my previous videos because I will show you how to install it. Uh, we hit key ring here so we can see our key ring and we need to get that uh, signing key into our list of keys. And the way we're gonna do that in this case is we click import and then we're just gonna navigate over to this guy here on the four uh, terabyte data drive. We're gonna go to the software folder We'll click that and then we're going to go to bit. Why isn't Bitcoin? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Bitcoin Core. Open that up. And there it is. See that that uh, key that we downloaded is, in fact, the, the raw signing key. We just downloaded it straight onto our computer. We're going to click open, and lo and behold, you'll see there that uh, they opened up a public key and imported it into our key ring. So you may or may not be familiar with that whole process. And what did it is this, this there it is uh, the Bitcoin Core signing release key. So we need that in our key ring to run this verification. Okay. So now that we've done that, we're going to verify this little guy here, this little ESC. Oh, see, I did that again, didn't I? Silly me. Uh, so when <laughs> you're in the Windows PowerShell, you cannot right click. Yeah, you have to highlight and hit Control C. Bing, and then uh, we can paste it. So we're going to GPG uh, dash dash version. Okay. Now, if you don't get that, then that means you you don't have it installed, or you uh, your path isn't right, or something of that nature. But usually, it just means you don't have it installed on your computer. So please, please, please check out my previous videos. So you'll have this software on your computer so you can do these verifications. Enough said, okay? So let's uh, gpg dash dash verify. Okay, and then we're going to control V and hit enter. All right, and you'll see there, uh, you've got that good signature. I love that good signature. Okay, that just tells us that, uh, you know, he signed this file and now we're verifying the file cryptographically and it's telling us that we got a good signature. That's what we're looking for. That's what verification is all about. That's why we do this public private key, you know, ace, <laughs> asynchronous uh, uh, verification. Uh, now, uh, I will say once again, as I have in many other videos, that you are going to get this warning that tells you that you have not, uh, this is not a trusted signature from someone that you know. Don't panic. That is because you downloaded it from the internet and you do not know Vladimir personally, right? You don't, uh, he didn't hand you his fingerprint on a piece of paper uh, so that you could go home and verify this. Now, had we met him in person and gotten his uh, fingerprint written down on a piece of paper, we could have seen whether or not it was a match, okay? And let's say we did that, or we uh, did the circle of trust. Uh, someone that he knows signed his key and someone that you know uh, signed, uh, that knew that person signed, and then it all came back to you. And uh, that's called the circle of trust, where other people sign other people's keys so that we have this uh, trust. Okay, so let's say that either through the circle of trust or we met him in person, we uh, got his fingerprint and we verified that it was in fact the same fingerprint, that we could right click here and set owner trust and give this guy ultimate trust. Okay, we normally don't do that for other keys. Usually it's reserved for your own key, but I like to do it because... After you do that and you uh, run this again, you'll notice up arrow that we don't get the warning. Okay, so that's all uh, has to do with uh, the trust of the digital signature that you've uh, uh, downloaded. All right, now that we've done all of that and we verified this uh, key. Uh, this is a SHA sum. Okay, so now that we can trust this guy completely, okay, we can look at these hashes. Okay, we can trust this file and know that th this is a, a true 
uh, list of the cryptographic uh, hash keys for uh, these these um, installer files. Okay, so we installed. Uh, we're going to run the Bitcoin 0.15.0.1 Win64 setup. So where is that guy? Right here. All right, setup.exe. All right, the hash is right on top of it. Okay, so we're going to right click and copy. Now uh, we're going to verify that cryptographically using a different piece of software called SHA SUM Checker. All right, and I have another video where I show you how to download and install this. It's pretty straightforward. Now we're going to browse. I'm putting links to all of this software uh, in the description down below. We're going to click browse. We're going to go to software, Bitcoin Core, and uh, we're going to highlight the installer. This is the file that we're checking. And you'll see that it, you know, it uh, generated some, some SHAs here. Let's see here. Where are we? Oh, yes. Now I okay there there sorry guys got a little verklempt there for a minute okay so here we go F zero A E B A and it looks very similar but you remember we just copied in uh, that into our clipboard so let's paste it here and click verify and we don't have to verify I'll eyeball the entire thing we know that we've got a two fifty six hash match there. And that's our verification process, guys. Now we can safely install our Bitcoin Core because we have matched and verified. So we downloaded a hash or a text file that had a bunch of hashes in it, and we needed to trust it. So it was cryptographically signed uh, by the developer. So we downloaded the developer's signing key. We added it to our key ring. And then we did a verification on this text file, and uh, it was cryptographically signed. We verified the signature, so we knew that we could trust the hash file, or, or the text file that had the hashes in it. Once we, we got that trust, then we were able to successfully uh, run an MD5 a SHA SUM, in this case a uh, SHA-256, uh, on the installer file, and the SHA-256 hash that the installer file generated using the software checker matched the one that was provided to us in that trusted text file. So that's what we do to verify software. Oops, uh, let's go back. I'm going to go over here back to my OBS software. Uh, now, uh, I'm just going to say one more time that uh, I did have, I've had a few commenters that say the GPG software isn't on their computer, so please make sure you have it. And then I had one commenter that said, hey, I did everything you did except all that verification junk, and I downloaded the installer and it worked just fine. Okay, and yes, uh, yes, it may work just fine, and it may be fine, but uh, the reason I do these videos is because uh, I want you to learn how to run these verifications because ultimately you want to trust the software that you're downloading onto your computer. If it's Tor browser, if it's privacy kind of stuff, it's prime candidate for attackers, uh, malicious third parties to masquerade websites that will trick you into downloading malware or trick you into downloading some kind of keylogger that will uh, be watching you and uh, will just blow all your privacy and anonymity. And in the case of Bitcoin wallets and that sort of thing, gosh, you don't want to just willy-nilly download a Bitcoin wallet and then have it turn out that someone has got a keylogger or malware in the, that's running in the background that's going to steal your Bitcoins, okay? So yes, the website looked legit and it is most likely legit and you can download and run the software but you know you want to run the verification so you can be totally sure 
that you got a clean copy of the installer and you can trust the install. So once again, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't want it to run too long, so I'm just going to stop with the verification and then uh, the next video will be uh, running the installer itself. So if you like my videos, give me a like. Uh, if you want to be in, uh, informed when I post new videos, please uh, subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks.